I'm just in the new develop module in Lightroom 4 um, and just taking a look at a few changes they've made um, to the basic settings. So just click on basic and we'll just have a quick look. Um, I've got, now got this set up in Lightroom 3 mode or Lightroom 2 mode um, which means there's a recovery slider. They've actually got rid of the recovery slider fill light um, in Lightroom 4 which is may sound strange but I think it's a good move because I don't know if you've noticed but when you import any of your images we've always found that it sets the sliders up willy-nilly exactly where it wants them and you're thinking what's going on and the great thing about Lightroom 4 is it zeroes um, everything in this column and makes it very logical um, to work out which way to slide so all I'm going to do is come down here and it's giving me a warning we are in Lightroom 4 but it's giving me a warning that it's going to change the process version to 2012 so I'll just click on this if you see this warning just you'll know what's going on so let's have a quick look now I wouldn't update all of your images we'll just do this one um, just to show you what's going on so we'll just update this one image and instantly you'll see in the panel that recovery is now gone and it's replaced with highlights, shadows, whites, blacks which is great um, if you're importing a new image all of this will be zeroed and if you come up to the histogram and scroll across you'll notice when you're in the blacks it highlights blacks and as you move along it's segmented out so the shadow area and then you're up into, let me just go back so I missed that, general exposure, come to the other end and you've got the highlights and the whites. Now a big thing I always do and you know the biggest thing we've done, people ask me did you use a reflector, um, I've never used a reflector at a wedding in my life, um, never really used fill flash outside, never used flash, um, it sounds unbelievable but you'll find that a lot of professional photographers use as little equipment as they possibly can and it makes life a lot easier but what you can do is expose to the right um, and you do that by taking your histogram and overexposing slightly it might be a third of a stop most people would think when they look at my images on camera that I've actually gone wrong <laughs> and the highlights have blown out but it's because I know from these raw files, which is even better in Lightroom 4, you can recover the detail. So I actually expose to the right and overexpose and then recover. We were recovering probably 25% most weddings. So all of a sudden our recovery slide is gone, um, which is a bit concerning really um, because, you know, when you get used to a technique where you're um, a third of a stop over then recovering um, that makes life very easy but it's, it's just going to be a tweak what they've done I think looking at images I've looked at about five or six now done the process versions is they're actually almost increased the dynamic range of the image so a raw file was very large dynamic range it's like they've added on a little bit each end now um, they're improving the process versions all the time so don't get rid of your raw files, um, put them on hard drive, keep them because when you go back to images software is the biggest thing they've been, they've been improving. I still use a, how old's a 5D Mark 1? Um, it's got to be six years old isn't it? Older than that probably. Um, I still use the same camera but the technology and the software is improving so don't get rid of your raw files because you'll be able to get rid of a lot of things with the new system. So just going through this, what I came to tell you about, it's so logical now, the highlights is obviously, it brightens or darkens the highlights. It's quite an obvious one, I'll just put the things on and then you can have a look. So that's just brightening the highlights. The whites is the far right hand end. There you go. This is so you could say whites is the new recovery slider. It's in a different position, but save overexpose to here. I'd normally overexpose. Well, it's not overexposing. It's 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 done for a purpose. Come in about here and then recover. And you'll notice the midtones aren't changing, which is great. I mean, they don't start changing until you get below here. 
and that's a great thing because you've got complete control now. You can lighten the blacks, darken the blacks. The new system is going to be brilliant for everybody because you've got complete control over every area. Um, just coming down a little bit, one thing I did want to show you is um, lens correction. I know this was in Lightroom 3, I think, if I remember rightly. I left it on um, all the time. But the chromatic aberrations just is brilliant, to be honest with you. Um, the 24 to 105 I use, sorry about this Canon, but <laughs> at 24mm wide angle looking into church windows and you know it's absolutely amazing lens there's no two ways about it but on the edges you can get purple fringing well green fringing um, a lot of lenses suffer from it um, and I've, I've looked at about 10 images so far and this box is amazing technology so I would tend to click that in and I would synchronize it throughout all your images and so it's on all the time um, you can play around with that and you know, you'd be amazed at what it does. Um, so take a look at that. Going back up to the basic panel, um, you've still got color, you know, you've still got your white balance controls, tint, still the same exposure. Contrasts actually moved a lot because that was right down the bottom. Um, but these four are the big four. So just have a go with them and as I say, when you bring images in, you will find that they're zeroed and then you can move them around and get the image you require. So that's for now and I'll try and do another one. Thanks a lot.